Welcome to Alpha Trainer 3D, powered by X-Plane. We at Alpha Trainer are now offering two 3D models from which to choose. The first, our new AT Starter, offers the traditional way of looking at angle of attack. Imagine a cross section of a wing with a straight reference line drawn from the leading to trailing edge. Now, project this line forward to cross the flight path vector. As the pilot pulls back on the yoke, this line, called the chord line, changes its angle with reference to the flight path. At first, the result is increased lift and drag as the speed reduces. If this angle increases, more drag is produced, further slowing the airplane's travel. To better understand this, the AT starter's flight path color changes from green to yellow and then flashes red as this angle becomes extreme. This excessive angle, known as critical angle of attack, causes the air passing over the wing to separate from the top of the wing. This condition is called a stall, and as a result, the wing loses most of its lift and drag remains high. To correct this, the pilot simply reduces this sharp angle by pushing the yoke forward, allowing the airflow to reattach itself to the top of the wing, push to green. Our second model, Alpha Trainer 3D, is a new concept in aviation thinking. We no longer address angle of attack as a single measurement. We now group small areas of local angle of attack. X-Plane uses blade element technology, calculating the aerodynamic forces on hundreds of small polygons over the entire aircraft and then uses the laws of physics for movement and rotation. Alpha Trainer engineers discovered that this method of grouping small areas across each wing allows for better yaw recognition in stalled conditions. Now stalls and spins are easy to see and understand. Lift, weight, thrust, and drag are the four forces of flight. The motion of the airplane through the air depends on the relative strength and direction of these forces which are illustrated on Alpha Trainer 3D as vectors. If the forces are balanced in a three-dimensional sense, the aircraft cruises at a constant velocity. If the forces are unbalanced, the aircraft accelerates in the direction of the net force. Tail lift, mostly produced inverted, is used to control the position of the nose of the airplane and the angle of attack of the wing. The V, or velocity vector, is not a force vector, but a vector of speed and direction. The V vector identifies the instantaneous flight path. Lift is always perpendicular to the instantaneous flight path, while drag is parallel to the vector. This is important to understand because lift and drag do not always follow the attitude of the airplane. Featured in the Alpha Trainer 3D program are innovative color-coded protractors. Angle of attack can be depicted by attaching the patented protractor 90 degrees to the cord line and placing it behind the lift vector, which is always perpendicular to the flight path. On these protractors, green is safe flight, yellow is edge of stall or warning area, and red is full stall, where lift is rapidly degenerating. Stalls occur when the angle of attack is high, which is depicted as red on Alpha Trainer 3D. These stalls can happen at any attitude or speed and in level, ascending or descending flight. This is what's called a dirty stall because the flaps and landing gear are out in the wind stream. Notice that the stall warning activates at 50 knots. Here we see a clean stall where the landing gear and flaps are in their up positions. Note that the stall warning activates at approximately 55 knots. This is what we call an accelerated stall, where the pilot incorrectly pulls aggressively back on the yoke. Note the stall warning activates at 85 knots. 
These three stalls show you that stall is not a function of airspeed, but of angle of attack. This is what is known as a spin. Only flight instructors are required to demonstrate these, and the airplane must be approved for these maneuvers. There are many things to note, but there are two of utmost importance. One, the airplane is stalled and stays in a stall. And two, yaw is present in the stall due most commonly to inappropriate rudder application by the pilot. However, yaw can also be propelled or aggravated by contributions from P-factor, slipstream, asymmetric thrust, various control failures, or even environmental airfoil contamination. Any of these factors may lead to local angles of attack that initially differ at the stall, which create roll-off. In a spin, one wing is more stalled than the other. With your mouse, you can drag an optional data window to anywhere on the screen. Five planes are available with Alpha Trainer, and the same technology can be applied to any ship created for use with X-Plane.